Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Sheakol Nyeri You know, the great leader of the Jewish people, without a doubt, was Moshe, Moshe Rabbeinu. One of the greatest uh, philosophers that we had was Maimonides. And according to our tradition, Mi Moshe ad Moshe lo kam ke Moshe. From that Moses, the biblical Moses, until Moses Maimonides, his name was Moses, the son of Maimon, there was nobody of that caliber. But Moshe Rabbein was extraordinary. Why was he extraordinary? Because he had a tremendous sense of justice. He was chosen by God because he could not tolerate injustice. And there are several episodes in the Bible that describe that. Yet, he's not chosen immediately because of it. We see that that is his qualities. And he is actually in the desert for 40 years as a shepherd of a priest by the name of Jethro. And then suddenly Moses sees a vision. He has a vision. What is the vision? He sees that there is a bush that is consumed by fire, but it's consumed by fire all the time. Fire isn't able to consume it totally. So he comes closer and he hears the voice of God and God tells him, Shal na'alecha me'al raglecha. Take off your shoes from your feet, ki amakom, because the place that you are standing is Admat Kodesh. It is holy uh, ground. You have to take off your shoes. And then God has a whole dialogue with Moses, and he chooses him to become the leader of the Jewish people. Why did it take 40 years before Moses became the leader of the Jewish people? Maybe because in those years the situation of the Jews, of the Hebrews, became untenable in Egypt. They couldn't suffer it anymore. Or maybe something else. You know what the Midrash says? The Midrash says that he was a shepherd. And one day, as he was shepherding the herd, suddenly one of the sheep was missing. They had gone to a place for water and they left the place and they were in the desert again, and one of the sheep was missing. You know, this is what a shepherd has to do. He has to count the sheep to make sure he doesn't lose the sheep that his master or whoever it is gave him to watch over. So what did Moses do? Moses went back to the place where they had taken the water, and he saw how one of the sheep had apparently broken a leg and couldn't walk anymore. So he went and took that sheep on his shoulder, brought it to the rest of the sheep, and then he had the full count of sheep. Maybe that is the reason why Moses was chosen as the leader of the Jewish people. You know why? Because he doesn't abandon anybody. He is not only the leader of 10,000, of 100,000, of 10 million people. He is the leader of each and every one. Each and every one has to feel that Moses, that the leader cares for him and that he'll watch over him and he'll make sure that he is safe, that he will arrive to his destination and he won't get lost in the desert, abandoned by others. You know that Israel has followed that tradition. When there's a soldier that is captured, they'll do everything in order to save that soldier. And if the soldier died, they'll do everything possible and impossible to bring the corpse to Jewish burial in Israel as well. And you know, you feel when you are in the Israeli armed forces that you're not just one, it's a herd, there are a lot of sheep, one sheep less, What's so important? No, each and every individual counts. And this is why Moses became the leader, because he was the leader of each and every one of the Hebrews. This is what you have in totalitarian regimes. You know, in the Soviet Union, for the benefit of the community, of society, they were willing to lose 10 million people 
by not giving them food to eat. Send them to Siberia, God knows, because it's important to save the majority. Sometimes you have to sacrifice the minority. No, that is not what the Torah teaches. The Torah teaches that each and every one of us has infinite value. There isn't such thing as to say that two people are more important than one. Each and every one of us is infinitely important because each and every one of us was created in the image of God. So maybe Moses became the leader of the Jewish people because he showed compassion for a sheep, for an individual sheep. How much more so would he show compassion and solidarity with another human being? So make sure, don't judge things by their number when it comes to human beings. Each and every one of us is a world in himself.